The Bayesian predictive probability of success doesn't assume a single effect, it assumes the uncertainty of that effect given the data we have. It's a very natural Bayesian thing to integrate over the uncertainty of the treatment effect and calculate the probability that we're gonna meet statistical significance at the end of the trial. You can watch an NFL football game, you can watch a basketball game, you can go to ESPN, and it will tell you the probability that one team's gonna win the game at any point in the game. So at halftime, one team's ahead by 14 points, it might say the probability they win this game is 92%. Or if it's a tie game, might be 50-50. That's the predictive probability of success. That's exactly what we're doing in a clinical trial, that we're calculating that. Given what we understand now in the strength of the two teams, the strength of the two treatments, what's the probability that we win the trial? Now, a clinical trial is not a game where the high score wins. You've got to win by a point spread. You've got to be statistically significantly better. That predictive probability of success sometimes gets confused for power. Power is not something that changes based on the data that you observe. Power is something that if the treatment effect is delta, here's the chance we win the trial. 